So we're really excited to get off the track, get out of the pool, uh, and, and get on the court for a while. And uh, we've, we've got a great group of returners. Uh, we're carried by our juniors and seniors this year. We have six juniors and seniors, and we're going to rely heavily on their game experience and, and just their them being a little more mature. And uh, so we're looking forward to the season. We're really excited about it. We've had an excellent preseason. I think we're in shape. Uh, we, we got stronger the last uh, six or seven weeks, ready to start basketball practice. But I think we're going in with the vision of, uh, you know, we need to pursue excellence on the court and strive for a conference championship. We want to be the Southland Conference regular season champions. We know we've got a long road ahead, a lot of work uh, that we've got to put into it, but uh, we want to be the best in the league this season. Uh, Whitney West Swinford, uh, she had a name change over the summer. Uh, she's been with me from day one at Abilene Christian, and she's going to her senior year, and she's been uh, just such a great leader for us in preseason. She's planned lots of team activities. She has uh, helped our freshmen really uh, get plugged in at ACU. Uh, she's done a tremendous job for us being a leader. She's always been a leader by example, but she's stepped up and she's taken more of a leader, uh, vocal leadership role for us right now. Uh, so we really appreciate that, something that we really needed. Um, obviously familiar faces for us, Lizzie and Susie Dimba, they've had a tremendous preseason and uh, they challenge everybody on the court. You know, if you have to match up with them in practice, it's going to be it's going to be a tough matchup. Uh, Sydney Shellstead has come back as strong and fast as she finished the season uh, last year. We've got Alexis Mason, who I would put her up against any three-point shooter in the league. She's one of the, the league's best. And so we're uh, looking forward to seeing uh, their maturity come through this year and, and just seeing that group really lead us. Uh, we have a, a player that will be familiar to the ACU family. We have Brecklin Wentz, the little sister of Parker Wentz, and uh, she is the female version of Parker. Uh, she is a playmaker, extreme. Uh, she's about 5'2", and, and there will be games she'll be our leading offensive rebounder. I mean, she's just a go-getter. Uh, we expect her to be a, a really good playmaker for us uh, from the very beginning. Uh, we have one of the best three-point shooters in the 2015 class in the state of Texas in Mackenzie Martin. Uh, she's from Allen High School, and uh, she's 6'1", uh, a bigger wing player. I think she'll cause some mismatch problems out on the, the perimeter. Uh, we have Sarah Williamson, who for back-to-back -back seasons led the state of Texas in free throws made and attempted. Uh, so we are, are uh, hopeful that she'll carry that uh, over into her Wildcat career as well, just getting to the free throw line as much as possible. We have a, a, you know, plenty of time to get everything in before we have our, our season opener November 14th at, at Moody against Wayland Baptist. Uh, but we've got to come together as a team on the court. I think chemistry has grown a lot throughout preseason. Uh, but on the court, we've got to figure out how to play a little bit more smoothly together. Our pickup games are not very clean right now. We've got uh, too many turnovers. But I think it, uh, once we start regular practices, we're able to practice 20 hours a week, get on the floor, and spend a little more time together, I think we'll see our, our game clean up somewhat.